Hello everyone. Now in this lecture we will know about the ne next concept that one is uh, recoverability. Uh, in before, in a previous lecture we already know about the serializability that one is again a concept under the uh, schedule that one is again the concurrent schedule and the uh, serial schedule uh, that, that one is a type of schedule. Now classification of schedule we can say that the given schedule is a serializable or it may be the recoverable. That's why the next point that one is what exact the recoverability. Recoverability is again a recoverable or we can say that that one is undo the existing action and the irrecoverable that one is not undo we cannot revert back the uh, executed action. Now a recoverable, a recoverable that is how does it happens how the particular database management system recover the particular transaction or the process. Now the procedure whenever a transaction execute there is always a transaction log created corresponding to it means for example if the transaction t1 is the executed or the execution is going on of a transaction t1 like t1 read something write something or again read something this one is the process now same simultaneously the transaction log is generated the transaction log is generated now it contains whatever the action done by the transaction that is simply the concept which one is a log of the transaction and when the log before commit means sir, with the log before commit it's a transaction is done it's not yet committed and the particular transaction fails now we have a log with the help of this log it recover this transaction or it recover to the initial position of the transaction right that is the use of log with the help of log it under the processes of the t1 transaction that is simply the recoverable process done by the transaction log after commit then the concept is if the um, transaction fail or it may be a transaction is committed and then it fail then the, this transaction is not recoverable because of when we commit the transaction this log is clear out this log is clear out because of that one is a, again a uh, permanent change under the database with the when we run the commit okay now the log is uh, clear then without lot log we cannot recover it or undo it right that is simply the concept behind the recoverable and the non-recoverable. This is irrecoverable. Why? Because of T1, T2. That one is simply the T1, T2. <coughs> which one is uh, T1 read the uh, value of A, then write the value of A. Then again T2 read the value of A, then T2 committed. Now again T1 is a uh, read the value of B and t1 is fail now t1 is a recoverable t1 is a recoverable because of it not it committed but t2 is not recoverable because of it is committed t2 is not recoverable because of it committed that is the irrecoverable t2 is not undo because of it committed right this one is simply this is called as the uh, bad read uh, in this scenario because of when we read the t2 read the value of a and it committed it finalized the value of a under the transaction 2 but whatever the value changes by the t1 it again roll back means it's again the set the a value under the t1 at the initial stage and the, that changes value which one is read by the t2 it's again the a dirty read we can say that okay now this one is simply the concept of recoverable and non-recoverable that is again a classification of a schedule the given schedule is recoverable or non-recoverable now the recoverability levels it contains a recoverability levels it's a stages now the cascading recoverable it's a level zero it's a lowest level now the cascade less recoverable 
and the strict recoverable that one is a level 2 it's a highest highest one now we will go with the one by one that one is uh, <coughs> cascading recoverable cascading recoverable that one is uh, uh, when we uh, execute any transaction that one is when roll back one transaction which roll back another transaction called the cascading rollback for example this is simply the transaction 1 transaction 2 transaction 3 and transaction 4 now a transaction will execute something then two a transaction two execute something then transaction three execute something then transaction four execute something after this transaction one here transaction is a bot right or the fail then all the this t2 t3 t4 transaction is rolled back right is rolled back with the situation of the t1 initial stage of the t1 right now this scenario we can say that cascading recoverable means what this abots t1 is abots and because of t1 abots it's a t4 t3 t2 it's again the undoing and the it's a again a recoverable then the problem is unnecessary rollback reduce the performance because of this situation it may be the this uh, some of the actions will be the unnecessary rollback and which one is reduce the performance of the database if reading fail by one transaction right if reading fail by one transaction and because of t1 the t2 t3 t4 will be again the uh, unnecessary uh, doing the rollback and it's again a time wasting process or it may be reduce the performance of database this is the cascading recoverable right or the abort we can say that now the second type that one is cascade lace this was a cascading this one is cascade lace then what is the situation if uh, the t1 and t2 the situation is uh, the t2 performs its read operation only after t1 commit or abort the situation under the cascade lace is not again a cascading if the t2 fails it's not again a revert back for the T1. Uh, why? Because of it's already committed or the apart. Right? If particular <coughs> particular situation T1, which one is again the committed, and then T2 read the A value and it's apart, then T2 is not again a rollbacking or it may be again not done the cascading. That's why it's a cascade lace. Right? Recoverable. It's only recovered the up to the T2, right? Now the the concept under this is a dirty read. Remove with the cascade list. Here is a when the committed, then this read is a dirty read. But with the help of it's it's a happen under the uh, ca uh, cascading recoverable. It's happen under the cascading re uh, recoverable. Or it may be in this scenario the dirty read is happen but under the cascade uh, cascade lay uh, cascade lays the dirty read is uh, dirty read remove with the cascade lays because of t1 is committed and when the t2 fails or the when t2 read the a value it's a final value it's a committed value that's why it's not dirty read it's a exact read of the value of a right that's why cascade lays is uh, useful in the scenario of a dirty read or dirty uh, cascade lace removes the dirty read now the second that one is uh, uh, this is the simple uh, scenario uh, of a dirty read like a read a write a then a t2 read a then it committed then t1 fails then again t1 revert back the value of a and uh, it should be the it may be the here value is a 10 now here value is uh, 20 and here her, uh, t2 reads the value of a as a 20 and a t1 fails then the now value as a value of a is now again a 10 but t2 read as a t2 read as a 20 then we can say that that is dirty read which one is removed with the cascade list process now the third type that one is a strict recoverable schedule that one is simple if in a given schedule each transaction tj neither read nor write any data 
item x until the last transaction ti that has written x is committed or aborted then it is a strict schedule it's the same thing before reading by the uh, value of a or writing of the value of a by the t2 t1 should be a committed then we can say that that is a strict schedule this is simply the type of uh, uh, or we can uh, say that level of uh, recoverability and uh, recoverable and irrecoverable concept okay thank you